June of 1984. I started March West in, in my garage. I really wanted to have a company that I could be proud of, no matter how small or large it was, and operate on the, the golden rule. Treat other people like you would like to be treated. I was told by many it wouldn't work, but it did work, and you can be a nice guy and do quality work and still exist and flourish. I'm Phil Weezer, the founder and current president and CEO of March Weston Company, and this is our Uncommon Story. March Weston is a general contractor specializing in buildings. My mother and father are both from Parkersburg, so when my dad retired from the Air Force, we moved back. My dad started cutting timber, so at 11, I was learning how to drive a two-ton truck and a tractor. It was a great lesson in what I didn't want to do. And I learned much later how important it was to both my parents to see that my brother and I graduated from college and didn't have to do what they were doing. Went on to get a mechanical engineering degree at West Virginia Tech. The quality education I got there is really the foundation of what I became later. Went straight from graduating to my first job. But my uh, father got cancer and uh, I wanted to come home and get closer to my mother, so. Got a job with a Pittsburgh contractor. Satisfying the client was not the top priority. I wanted to walk down the street, keep my eyes up, and not worry about who I ran into that might be mad. I wanted everybody to be happy, and I just didn't fit. So I said, wouldn't it be great if you did everything golden rule style? I would make every customer happy, treat them just like I was on the other end. Everybody made fun of me. Yeah, you can't do that in construction, and you're not gonna be able to compete. They'll undercut you, and you'll never keep work. I ended up starting March Weston in June of 1984, and was off and running with $2,000 in capital, total capital. <laughs> Think why March Weston is where it is today, it's corporate culture. When you're talking to an architect or a client that you're building something for, stop and don't be March Weston, be them. What do they deserve? If we build something that changes the community, you want it to be there for a long time. I am proud of the fact that the community gets a good building when they hire us. But I think what's made Morgantown different is a lot of the people that have gone out of their way to invest have insisted on high quality. What is now the waterfront development area, back in the day, that was one of the most blighted areas of the community. That did a lot to change outsiders' image of our community. The Hazel Ruby McQueen Amphitheater, I think it's gonna be a keystone to turning our downtown area around again. The Aqua Center, Morgantown's gonna benefit tremendously from visiting teams and competitions. And then it's got a recreational side too for the community, which is something we've needed for a long time. I'm proud of all of our projects. A lot of people in our area associate us with bigger projects now, but if it's the right client that supported us in the past, we'll pretty much do anything. I always felt like I was gonna be doomed to cutting pulp wood the rest of my life, and I just get up every day and think, gosh, you're lucky. Seeing that it worked and probably has allowed people to live a happier life than they might have if there was no March West. That's definitely probably the most rewarding piece. I like seeing people happy. 